WVLT News, folks. I'm Ted Hall. I'm Brittany Tarwater. Thanks for joining us. Baseball is one vote away from being played in Knoxville in just a few years. I will Puckett spoke with the mayor today on the deal. Will, this is a major step as the stadium seemingly has been pushed back time after time. Yeah, a lot of process, a lot of steps in the process to get to this point. Today, the city, county, and Randy Boyd, the owner of the Tennessee Smokies, announcing the final agreement of what's called a maximum price guaranteed, or MPG. That agreed upon number is $114 million, with the request of about $65 million in bonds set to be approved by the Sports Authority tomorrow morning. That single vote will be the final hurdle to bringing the nearly 8,000 seat stadium to the east end of the old city. The city and county projects that this stadium alone will bring roughly $480 million over 30 years and is set to employ about 3,000 people in the construction process. The stadium was first announced in the summer of 2021 and has seen a number of delays in the process, including an increase in funding as prices spiked because of inflation. And I will, one of the points that the mayor is trying to make a big deal out of is saying that it's going to be a major boost to East Knoxville, specifically putting in efforts to employ people who live there. Yeah, the mayor is stressing that this is part of the entire reason why she supported the move to build a stadium in the city. It'll sit just on the other side of the old city, and when completed, it's set to employ about 400 full-time people, and the mayor expects many of them to be from the neighborhood surrounding the stadium. Good news is that people want to invest in Knoxville and also that we have a community that wants to have a rising tide lift all boats. So I'm a big believer in inclusive economic development. And so that means you have to think ahead and be intentional for how we reach out to try to do business with local entities, to try to hire local kids and give them the opportunities. So this, these huge investments do indeed benefit everybody. Now, the mayor says the investment from the city is significant, but she promises in conversations that she's had with Knoxville's chief financial officer that this is a good deal for the city to agree to and the benefits far outweigh the risk. Well, the mayor also is saying that there's a pretty firm opening date, too. Yeah, American Cannon says they are bullheaded on being ready for first pitch of the Knoxville Smokies baseball season at the new stadium in 2025. Right around the corner. Well, thank you.